my g-wagons welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl gamu back with the whole shebang you know what to do um if you're new here welcome to my channel i hope you like it here and please make sure you click on the subscribe button right now and switch on the notification button and yeah to everybody else welcome guys i know i've been slagging i'm so sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry i've been bullied into making content but like yeah i'm back with another video today and this is one of the most random videos i've ever decided to do it's so random but i feel like it's relatable to some people so yeah um what did i want to say make sure you leave a like comment and share with your family and friends and we're on 324 subscribers now so i am so so happy uh, i'm going to win you know all i do is win 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 no matter what thank you we are we are cruising we are going up there going up there i like that i like that i really like that so guys please make sure you keep on sharing and subscribing i really do appreciate it and uh, let's get into it i'm going to be doing um a video about random things i want to be talking about random things that i don't understand like i just, it's the most random video if you get offended sorry for you that's not my problem <laughs> i'm kidding don't cancel me guys but like yeah if you get offended it's it's all bands most of it is just silly stuff like yeah and then other stuff is like really genuine like i just don't get it okay so let's get into it the first one i don't understand people who film themselves crying and they post it online do like this do it come on do like this like this calm your chairs down like i understand like okay you're going through it but like i don't understand why you have to like film you filmed yourself you edited the video and you said yeah i'm gonna post this for everybody to see i feel like it's different if you just keep it to yourself but like still like why are you even recording yourself in the first place like recording yourself crying i feel like mentally there's something wrong and you need to get checked respectfully of course like i'm not i'm not trying to throw shade or anything like i'm just saying like stop filming yourself crying and posting it online because now people are gonna see your crocodile tears and that's not cute like no uh -uh. don't do that i don't understand time zones like how do they actually work and who decided that oh no america has to be six hours behind them like i i, I don't get that like it's just so weird to me because if we all if we're all having the same day but then this one's ahead this one's behind and then like i that just will never make sense to me the race to adulthood especially like as children we always used to be obsessed with growing up like oh my gosh i want to grow up i want to grow up you know i want to be an adult i want to be independent i want to be independent wait in be this wait in be this ah guys the independence we were crying for no like i'm not even i don't regard myself as like fully into adulthood yet because i'm still in uni and you know i'm still getting support and stuff but then i'm just thinking about it i'm like okay so at some point i'm gonna have to like work for the rest of my life is that what you're telling me like <laughs> ouch <laughs> but okay yeah it's not as glamorous as people have portrayed it to be and i don't know why as children we were so obsessed with wanting to grow up and you know the adults would be like ah you'll see when you're older huh? we are not seeing dreams i don't understand dreams like my dreams never make sense <laughs> and i don't understand how like you can dream about something and then within like two seconds of you waking up you've forgotten like it was right right in your head and then gone just like that i, I don't get that I don't get it that's gonna sound so stupid but i know it's very valid like it's so so valid but i never understood how why we never got to see cartoon characters full body on tv like why why are we only seeing the legs why are we only seeing the heels of their mother why are we like you get, <laughs> like especially like the grown-ups and the cartoon uh shows like we would never see their full body and i don't understand why things had to be that way because i was curious like i really wanted to know i still want to know like please we need answers i don't understand why we are not taught about financial literacy in school 
like at a young age like let's say like high school type of thing like we're not taught about taxes we're not taught about mortgages we're not taught about debit credit all those things stocks bonds all that investment like nobody teaches us about that in school and i really want to know why because now it's like you just have to find out that information for yourself and like each man for himself god for us all like <laughs> why are we doing that like <sighs> why you know this is something i don't understand and i feel like it's 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 not okay because i really wish i was taught that from you know a young age from like high school at least you know at least i would have known a little bit about like financial literacy and yeah like because now i'm i'm beginning to i'm so curious and i'm trying to understand it all now whilst i still have the time and energy so yeah that's always been bizarre to me right I don't understand this thing of like you know when someone is watching you do something right <laughs> like someone is watching you do something and then you start making a mistake and this is something that you do all the time for example like you could be driving and then you pick up someone and now like you're driving like because someone is there do you know what i mean i've never understood why human nature is like that like when someone is watching us do something we start acting a fool out here like it's crazy I don't understand why teleportation has not been invented yet. <laughs> I feel like that should have been one of the most urgent projects happening. Maybe it's already happening and I just don't know. But I honestly feel like teleportation is essential. Like, I'm trying to go to the Bahamas, guys. I'm trying to go to Bali. I'm trying to, to go to Thailand okay i'm trying to go there without having to book a plane ticket okay i'm just trying to be there and you know yeah it's, it's faster it's shorter more efficient you don't need to worry about carbon emissions because you won't need to drive to work you can just teleport yourself you see what i mean you see what i mean you see the way i'm thinking now i'm thinking about you know like genuine stuff it makes sense it makes sense it makes sense guys that could actually help with like global warming and stuff i'm just saying if you're like albert einstein out there you know super super smart please we are waiting on you because i don't understand people who talk to themselves in your dm like i've clearly shown you that i'm not interested anymore and like i want you to leave me alone so i don't open your messages i don't reply i will still post something and you can see the post that's me trying to give you the message you get what i mean and you will still continue to be persistent why personally i struggle with communicating when i don't want I, I, I'm, I struggle with telling people like okay please leave me alone like I really struggle with that so I just start to detach I start to distance myself okay so especially like if I don't know you well and you're in my DMs and we spoke here and there and then I just stop responding and I kind of like ghost you and then you keep on texting me and reply my stories thinking that I'm gonna respond uh, you must be on crack yeah because i don't understand like you can clearly see i'm not having i'm not going to respond to you because i will keep posting regardless of whether you've replied my story again like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna stop like i'm gonna live my life it's my phone it's my you know my account i can do what i want with it so i don't understand people who talk to themselves like just let it go bro move on like it's not that hard okay no hard feelings though. no hard feelings man i just don't understand me like i guys are so genuine like if you want to come for me you can come for me but i just don't understand men okay and i don't think i will because they they need to be studied they really need to be like i'm not saying women are perfect but like i'm just saying like ha damn <laughs> you know for like students I don't understand people who discuss the exam. Ah! <laughs> Ain't no way I just said that. Ah, oh, that is so embarrassing. Okay. 
I don't understand people to discuss the exam afterwards. Why? Especially in uni. Are we five years old? Why are you asking me what I wrote for number 10? That's none of your business. You were not there when I was studying and crying weeks before the exam. And you were not there in the exam when I was fighting with my brain trying to remember what answer was on page number, what of my notes. And you have the audacity to ask me what I wrote. There's no need for that. Like that's that's just drama and please stop it guys. It's not nice because you it's, it's actually so discouraging and it actually gives people some anxiety. People who only speak to you when they need a favor. Like yeah, that's not it. You don't greet me, you don't talk to me on a friendship level or whatever. Then you want to ask me to help you with something and you do this consistently. And you think it's okay. Stop it. Just some help. Sometimes hey, things in, in, in the world we will it it will get you to your to the point of you your skin is starting to feel like you can peel it off because of how irritated you can be by certain things people places doings the etc etc at some point i feel like i can just take my fist and here at the here 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 just here just that part of your head can potentially knock some sense into somebody just a firm grip of a fist punch and connect to the base of the skull then you can knock some sense because what are you saying what are you doing don't get on my nerves it's so hot if you're gonna ask me for a favor at least okay and also people who pretend as if they care about you when they just want a favor from you like just get to the point and also if you're constantly asking me for favors but when i ask you for help you don't reciprocate the same thing then something is wrong you need to check out then it sounds so stupid but like i don't understand how mirrors work like how like who came up who who knew that like okay your reflection will do the exact same thing as you like who knew that who came up with the idea of inventing that that's crazy that's wild by the way guys i'm not even like under any influence right now i'm very much awake these are just random thoughts that i had so please don't think i'm like blazed or anything this is genuine bluetooth airdrop bluetooth or airdrop i don't understand how those work because how how does my car know that my phone is close by or how does my phone know that my car is close by and i can connect like how like what waves are going on in the air do you know what i mean i don't understand why celebrities some celebrities have the most terrible fashion sense at some of the biggest fashion events or fashion statement events for example like the Met gala or like something like the grammy or whatever like you're a celebrity and you have made the money okay you've made money you're rich you're wealthy whatever so that means you have a variety of choices of designers to choose from you have the luxury to go above and beyond because you can afford it but you choose to look like a homeless person or a scarecrow why like i just i don't know like it's, it's just so weird like you really said now nah, i'm gonna step out of the towel and that's it that's that's the story behind my outfit like yeah i know the material and like guys a towel they have two dollars yeah yeah no i'm going i'm going to the mcgala like this i'm gonna wear a sheet today I'm gonna wear a sheet, a weird sheet, and wrap it around my body. <laughs> and that's my outfit. Like, wow, you're content. I'm just like, I don't get it. I really don't get it because if I had that opportunity, oh my word, I would go above and beyond and I would show up and show out. I don't understand how languages work. Like, who came up with words? <laughs> 
No, guys, like, no, think about it, think about it. Like, who came up with, who, who was, like, the first person to be like, yeah, no, French accents are gonna be like this, you know, German, English, like, I just, you know, and how did people understand each other, like, way, 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 way back then? Like, for example, like, the Khoisan, right? Like, I know they would communicate with the Klee Klee sound and, <laughs> Forgive me guys, forgive me guys if I'm offending anybody. But like yeah, the Koi sound would communicate with the Kli Kli and the Ko and the Ka and the whatever, right? So like how do they know that yeah I'm understanding what this person is saying and what they're saying is right and it makes sense? Like how do they know that it made sense to each other? You get what I mean? You know I'm great with this, but eh. That's just me though. And also, like, you know people who use sign language, like, how do they know? Like, deaf people, like, how do they know? You know what? Okay, I digress. Anyways, <laughs> girls who don't dance in the section. Like, these are the type of girls who get to the motive and they act like they own the section, they're too bougie, they're, like, on a throne of some sort, and they don't participate why are you there if you're not participating like you're just sitting there looking pretty sometimes not even looking pretty but anyways that's a story for another day but you gotta sit there the whole night the entire night and you're not going to participate you're not gonna get up and dance why are you even here get out <laughs> like you're wasting the oxygen in the room like literally i don't understand people who do, like and you don't even have to be dancing like crazy or anything but like just get up and groove a little bit like that's the whole point and i don't understand why some girls act like that like they act too bougie for you and it's like dude why are you here then you know people that okay people who think they're more mature simply because they don't go outside like you do like and i'm like okay so do you want an award like there's some people don't get me wrong there's some people who are genuine homebodies and they just don't do outside drip now and that's okay but then there's those people that make you feel some type of way about you going out and making you feel like you being outside is a problem and that like yeah they think they're way more mature and yeah they they're like up there just because they don't go outside like do you want an award because we really don't care <laughs> we really don't care if you're not gonna go outside and don't make us feel ever going outside because honey we are having the time of our lives outside and even in uni like those students that make you feel bad for having fun and like going out and stuff and they think they're more mature than you and they think that they're gonna be more successful or they're gonna have better grades than you just because they don't go outside bro i'm out here like probably maybe i'm actually performing better than you i'm not i'm not pointing fingers but i'm just saying like i maybe i'm actually performing better than you but you're like coming for me telling me like oh you're always outside you're always outside are you even serious with your life like yes i am serious and i'm doing pretty well for myself thank you for asking i'm having the time of my life and i am getting those distinctions baby so please if you are not a an outside person that's fine you don't have to make us feel like bad for being outside and enjoying life because life is tough sometimes you just need fresh air you need a change of scenery you need a good time because you haven't had a good time in a long time and there's some people who are actually able to prioritize um things so when they go outside it's not like they haven't done their work or whatever they're responsible enough to know that oh i have things to do and then there are people that genuinely do go outside and they're not serious but we're not all like that so please don't come for us okay thank you very much secondhand embarrassment because how was that my business like you know when you like you you feel embarrassed on someone's behalf yeah like why why am i feeling like that that's got nothing to do with me but then it still happens it's crazy very judgmental people because those most of the time those people are like the worst people like those people are doing are doing the most in a negative way and they will still judge you for anything they'll still like judge and look down upon others and i don't i don't agree i don't like that like why are you doing that no one's perfect and 
like we all have our moments and some people are genuinely trying to work on themselves but you still like judge them and i just yeah no nah. motivational speakers <laughs> like i'm sorry i used to be for them but at some point i was like nah this ain't it this ain't it because they'll be talking about like success and you know and like i know sometimes it's genuine that's true but then there's some motivational speakers who are probably doing fraud and they're out here yeah, talking to you about success and how they came from the bottom and now they're here and we believe them and like we act like wow this is amazing like and some of them just say the most common things that you don't really need to hear from a motivational speaker like it's just oh okay like i could never listen to a motivational speaker to, to get me to do something i can't like like if i'm you know struggling with something like discipline and you know those people that like upload videos and they're like yeah it doesn't really sound that and then yeah like martin luther had a martin luther king had a dream you know and it's just they just start going off and i'm just like oh i don't think that works on me like i i just don't i don't yeah sometimes it's really not motivating <laughs> it's not sometimes it's really not motivating and some motivational speakers are not genuine they are lying to you they're probably committing fraud or doing god knows what but they're gonna come on the internet and be like yeah no guys like yeah you need to start now you know like i started from the bottom now i'm here making millions you know and you know you gotta work hard that time they probably like did god knows what to get there in a bad way so i just i don't really get motivational because sometimes i'm just like nah that ain't it <laughs> i don't know some people can't mind their own business because why are you in my business i do not invite you mind the business that pays you and drink your water like it's really not that hard and yeah like i think it's something that people should be reminded of there and then like yeah don't forget to mind your own business today enjoy <laughs> people who call you with no gist i personally i'm not a fan of phone calls i guys when i tell you i really don't like being called especially without warning like if you just call me randomly i'm like oh are you serious right now unless unless you're like my family or like really close friend or the love of my life then there's an exception but if you're just calling me just to 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 pass time eh no thank you please I'd rather you just ask me like hey are you free for a call and then i'll think about whether i actually want to speak to you over the phone and then i'm like okay yeah i am at this time on this day catch me then that's so much better than you just randomly calling me because i will watch the phone ring personally i'm gonna watch that phone ring and um i will wait for the ringing to stop and then i'll text you and be like oh what's that what do you mean just text me i can't answer the phone right now because why can't you just text me like i might not reply but like <laughs> chance of me replying could be high and i will reply and then we can just text like you don't need to call me oh i don't like that i don't know i just i'm not a fan of calls guys for some reason i just i really don't like them they really irritate me sometimes especially if you don't have just if there's no story if there's no tea if there's no like conversation that's like popping and you're calling me what's the point like i'm gonna answer the phone and you can give me some dry response and then okay hey how are you doing what have you been up to blah 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 and then after that z it's like okay ask me questions like get me going because you wanted my time me i me i was content with not speaking to you over the phone but i was like you know what let me give you the benefit of the doubt let's hear what you have to say and then all you have to say is nonsense mm. i don't understand why guys are still wearing skinny jeans in 2024 
I don't get it. Why are you doing that? Uh, that's weird. Stop it. Stop. No. Skinny jeans, guys. Skinny jeans for 2024. And not only is it skinny jeans, certain colors. Jeans are red. Skinny jeans in 2024 as a guy. What? Are, what? I just want to know what are your goals in life because. It's very, I don't know guys, it's just so strange to me. Last but not least, I don't understand guys who approach you in the gym and want to mansplain everything. I'm gonna split this into two parts, okay? Guys who approach you in the gym, right, that. So you see me wearing headphones. <laughs> like, that is a clear indication of please do not approach me. I'm not trying to talk to anybody. I'm locking in, do not disturb me until these babies are off my ears right so you can clearly see a hand is working out she's got her headphones on she's locking in she's serious she's doing her thing and you decide that no this is the perfect time to disturb her progress and then you think i'm gonna want to talk to you and be like oh hi how are you doing <laughs> no personally this is for me personally yeah i really don't like that because i've come i've had situations where like i'm doing my own thing and like sometimes like i just don't want to talk to anyone i'm here in the gym to get in and get out and most of the times i already know what this gent is approaching me for i already know there's nothing platonic about what this guy is trying to do so i already know and i'm like no <clears throat> So if you see me with my headphones and I'm locking in and I'm doing whatever and then that's when you decide to, to tap me and call me and be like eh, Bonjour, bonjour, mademoiselle, comment ça va, ça va bien, merci, et vu, da 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 During my workouts, whilst I'm listening to, to the most insane trap hip-hop track and I'm missing out on the lyrics and you're talking about Oh yeah, bonjour. Da 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 da. Ça va, ça va. Hey, what? Leave me alone. Like, <laughs> stop. I don't like it. I'm trying to listen to like that by Future and Metro Boomin, and you out here talking about. Oh hey, what's up? How you doing? Oh, so do you come here often? Get out. Go away. Like actually, and I'm not saying like. I would never speak to anyone in the gym it's just that like it's the time and how you do it like i'm locking in maybe if i'm just chilling then you can try and be like oh hey what's up and also it depends like what you're saying to me because like some owns will come and be like oh yeah so uh, i can see you do you want a personal trainer like i can i can train you you know i can Yo, I can I can train you. Do you need some help? Like, just just let me know. You know, yeah, let me know. So for you to then ask me if I need help, I'm like, no, I don't. I'll never ask a man for help in the gym. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> that's something that I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it unless you're actually a proper personal trainer who's qualified to train, not just another regular coming to the gym and then you decide to pick on me and be like, you yeah, know, like we can help each other like i can help you with the gym you can help me with my schoolwork like, <laughs> i'm like no no we're not gonna do that we're not about to do that right now and also like it's one of those i don't need your help like i'm doing fine i'm consistent and i can see progress in my body so me training with you what what exactly because i'm used to training a certain way now and then you want to come and change things up for me and let's say I do give you a chance to train me and I see that oh this ain't working this this ain't it because you think you know everything as a man in the gym you want to you want to mansplain everything and make it seem as if like yeah nah you, you know what you're doing half the time you're still also learning like everyone in the gym has their own goals and everything and people are working towards something so I'm working towards something you're working towards some working towards something so why are you making it seem as if like yeah you you know you know what's best for me half the time you probably don't you know what i mean and 
also the mansplaining like it's so unnecessary like a guy would think like you don't know how to do a certain workout or how to use a certain machine like honey i know i know i know i know because what as an independent woman okay um yeah so i know <laughs> you don't have to mansplain everything to me unless i ask you like oh hi um i don't really understand a b c d e f g can you just help me out then that's okay but like for you to come to me unprovoked um no stop it that's not cool um and yeah just guys approaching in the gym in general i really don't like that because guys and sometimes the own will be working out and stuff right and he's sweating he's huffing and puffing he's like <gasps> like he's going through the most and he's got sweat dripping all the way down from the medulla of the gutter all the way down to his legs and he's talking about can i have your number in the gym guys that's so unattractive like why <laughs> why do you act like that why can't you just you know maybe you'll see me outside of the gym if you see me outside of the gym that's cool that's a better opportunity for me i'm speaking for myself that i'd rather you approach me outside of the gym or like even in the gym just the way you do it i don't know how guys approach girls but the way you do it just needs to be smooth like be smooth with it don't be messy don't be weird about it like get to the point and yeah there's no need to be doing all this extra stuff and doing all this Puffing and puffing and oh uh, yeah no like um there's just something so special about you like when I saw you I was like yeah there's something special about you I'm like you saw me twice in the gym what do you mean there's something special what I haven't spoken to you we haven't exchanged words like what are you talking about like you okay maybe you said oh that's a pretty girl like okay fine but don't say Oh, I just know there's something special about you. Like I can just feel it, and I just want to talk to you, and I want to get to know you, cause I just feel it. Ew, stop, guys. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I get the ick so easily. Like these days, a lot of things give me the ick. I am so, it's so bad. Like I am so intolerant about certain things. But yeah, that is the last one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know um if you guys have random things that you don't understand and you want me to talk about in this in, in another video um let me know if i should do a part two because they just the thoughts just come and go honestly speaking it wasn't even like i didn't even plan to do this video because i i have a list of videos that i want to do and i came up with this list at the beginning of 2024 and like i'm not even halfway through the list but yeah, this was a, a video I just thought about randomly. Like it was so random and I was like, I thought about something and I was like, yeah, I don't get this. And I was like, wait, I should do a video about this. But I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I was like a bit skeptical. I was like, mm, am I going to do it? Am I, am, I, am I not going to do it? And then people have been asking me, content, we're waiting. I'm like, oh, guys, okay, I just don't know what to do right now. Then I was like, you know what? Um, okay i'm going to deliver i have to deliver because i said i would so i'm going to do it and here's the delivering yeah, here's the delivery I and i hope you guys enjoyed this video this this was a very like light video not gonna lie but i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it was entertaining and let me know if you have other kinds of videos you want me to do um yeah i hope you liked it and make sure you've subscribed if you haven't already if you got to the end of the video thank you so much for watching make sure you've subscribed and leave a like comment share with your family and your friends your dog and your cat your uncle and your aunt your stuffed animal and whatever so yeah um stay tuned for more bye